What is happening to our youth? Remain silent if I'm telling a lie, but cut me off if I'm speaking the truth. What is happening to our youth? The birth stage is fifth grade on first page. Forget switching classes because they switch blades like first aid that cut deeper than most like kids with bad grades. Why is it that half of our school children are on medication? I thought we sent our children there to be students, not patients, but even our kids need a break from this recession. So they give them recess, which seems like the pretest for life's test, and teachers wonder why students go in on them. Recess is nothing more than a prison yard where 12 students are left to one court with no choice but to ball hard. They told us that the early bird gets the worms. But there are not enough worms to feed and teach these early birds. So we're left to play bye-bye birdie like loose bread on the curb. And those metal detectors, they can't detect this heat in me. That's why I wear clothes, because I have a right to my own privacy. But just because I wear this cotton on my back does not mean that you can pick on me. Because those days are over. We don't pick for free. Plus, I heard that the justice system ain't got no pick for me. There's a national warrant out for anything that even looks like me. Now we sit in class knowing that we were destined to fail but expected to pass. We sit with our backs straight and our hands raised and our necks cocked forward trying to grab whatever piece of a dream that we might have left but we are all we have left. We are the last of a dying breed. Please tell me that somebody in this room has Johnny's number so we can tell him that he needs to plant more seeds and we can sit back and watch each other grow and we can finally have an answer to why the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. That's why in history class I was often speechless, determined to fail no matter who taught because throughout time I was told history is easy once you repeat it. So on this road to success I've been lost for quite a few days. That's why on this one-way street, I still look both ways to stay cautious, scared to speak so I remain soundless with my back against the wall, but still watching my surroundings. What is happening to our youth? What is happening to our youth? Can we change that? What can happen to our youth? If we took the time out to take their time out to find out the exact ingredients to this pudding where they say lies the proof. Don't tell us that the sky is the limit as you build more roofs. Stop telling these point guards to plant their feet. Tell them to think before they shoot. Let's start teaching these girls how to be role models instead of top models. Let's start teaching this youth how to be leaders instead of Twitter followers. These opportunities out here are unlimited. Just be careful at what you're grabbing. Tell these young men, tell these boys that they can still have hoop dreams. Just aim for different baskets and tell my young women who use makeup to make up for what you think the mirror fails to reflect. Know my beautiful colored girl. True beauty is on the inside and there is no need to cover girl, but I wish this was something that they taught in class. Then maybe our young men wouldn't have to wear their pants halfway off their behinds. Now let's teach this youth so they can teach their youth and we can plant the seeds of knowledge and we can raise the truth and we can finally have a clear picture of what can happen to our youth.